I was... <laughs> I was number one, a real marquee name, on a par with the best one at the top of my game, and I could turn it on at the flick of a switch. Even if inside I was sick of this shit, because that's how you've got to be. Show respect at its best, because the audience out there will expect nothing less. My apoplectic arrest is just controlled and repressed, and while it smoulders, it's buried, so you cannot detect. Not that it was always like that. I ain't just old and cantankerous. There was a time this was rewarding rather than just thank you -less. I enjoyed it, making people smile, being the highlight of their day, the best show by a mile. On stage, it was said there was no one like me and that there would ever be seem less than likely. Every theatre I played would be filled to the maximum and for them to leave entertained just became an axiom. I was a professional and you don't get too many now. I respected the art of leaving everything out on stage. And when you left, you'd know. You'd seen a man stand and give his all at each show. But if you leave it all out there, then what is left? You can scream and you can shout, but every ear can seem deaf. And when you lay down to sleep, only the demons are left. And when you wake, they're still there. But on stage, you must step and you must make them laugh, laugh, and make them smile, smile. Make them laugh, 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 and make them smile, smile. Make them laugh, laugh, and make them smile, smile. Make them laugh, 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 and make them smile. I, I hate to keep saying it, but it must be understood. There ain't no overrating it. I was really that good. People had travelled from Europe just to see me do a turn, and that was before we travelled like we had ozone to burn. A cacophony of mockeries would imitate and copy me. Their shows were just atrocity, supposedly to honour me, but honestly, they were far from flattering. Like looking in a mirror that was warped and crackling, and I just got better and better. At least that's what they said. I had the formula for the perfect show in my head, but... I can admit now it was their perfect show and not mine, but it was what was required to be done at the time. A little compromise here and there, if it was worth a few yucks. And I made those changes for the reaction, not for the extra few bucks, but there's a fine line, make no mistake, between refining your style and becoming a fake. And that's what I became. I mean, we all transform when stepping on stage, that's just how you perform, but... Before I knew it, that person up there on stage was a complete stranger that I just couldn't place. So one night in a packed auditorium, I decided to try a new act instead of always imploring them to love me. I just removed my mask and revealed to them my real self at last. Their reaction <laughs> revealed they weren't really ready for such truth, such... Dark confessional actions didn't exactly raise the roof. They instead raised alarm, discomfort, and disgust. I was branded unhinged a rebel, a subject of distrust. I guess the world wasn't ready for my great grand gesture. I guess all they really wanted was another bland jester. In time, people will look back and see the beauty I gave, and I'll be remembered for more than just my time atop the parade. But until then, I'll just keep going so that I'm not consumed. It matters not that I perform every night to an empty room. I just keep fighting my own internal cause and stand here each night, a rebel without applause, and I, I make them laugh, laugh, and I make them smile, smile. I make them laugh, 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 and I make them smile. I made them laugh until I wondered why. I made them laugh until I made them cry. <laughs>